Welcome to Physics 2100 at Cal State LA. I'm your professor, Dr. Bijan Berenci. This is video number 13 on the second law of thermodynamics. This is November 2016. Second law of thermodynamics. The second law of thermodynamics can answer questions such as, why doesn't heat spontaneously flow from a cold body to a hotter one? Or why doesn't water spontaneously freeze above freezing point? The second law of thermodynamics relates the direction of the thermodynamic process. It relies on a concept known as entropy. Uh, entropy increases in irreversible processes. Entropy is the measure of the disorder of randomness of a system. The change in entropy ds is related to heat dq and temperature t as ds equals dq over t. Note, in an adiabatic process, dq equals zero and entropy is constant. Heat engines. The efficiency of a heat engine is given by E equals to W over QH equals 1 minus QC over QH, where heat QC is the heat transfer to the low temperature reservoir, and QH is the heat transfer to the high temperature from the high temperature reservoir. The second law of thermodynamics. The second law of thermodynamics relates the change in entropy to the heat transferred. So dS equals to dQ over T. In a process, integrate from integrate over dQ over T to get delta S equals delta dQ over T. Kevin Planck's statement of the second law. It is impossible for any system to undergo a process in which it absorbs heat from a heat reservoir at a single temperature and converts the heat completely into mechanical work, with the system ending in the same state in which it began. The Carnot cycle consists of two reversible isothermal and two reversible adiabatic processes. The isothermal expansion at temperature TH which absorbs heat QH. There's an adiabatic expansion until the temperature drops to TC. There's an isothermal compression at TC rejecting a heat QC and an adiabatic compression back to the initial state at temperature TH. You may look at a diagram of the Carnot cycle. We have an isothermal expansion, an adiabatic expansion, uh, isothermal compression at TC, and adiabatic compression. And uh, this forms a cycle known as the Carnot cycle. And the Carnot efficiency is TH minus TC over TH. If you want to express it as a percentage, you multiply by 100. Efficiency of the Carnot cycle. For the Carnot cycle, we have the following relation. QC over QH equals TC over TH. Thus, the efficiency of the Carnot cycle becomes E equals TH minus TC over TH. Example 1. What is the entropy change when 2 kilograms of ice is melted reversibly at 0 degrees Celsius and is converted to water at 0 degrees? Consider that the latent heat of fusion of water is LF equals 3.34 times 10 to 5th joules per kilogram. We may first calculate the heat, Q equals to M times L, where L is the latent heat of fusion times the mass, which is 2.0 kilogram, 
obtaining Q equals 6.68 times 10 to the fifth joules. May you finally calculate the entropy delta S equals S2 minus S1 equals to Q over T which is uh, 2.44 times 10 to the third joules per kilogram. Example two, what is the efficiency of a Carnot engine with a high temperature reservoir of TH equals 350 K and a low temperature reservoir Tc equals 300 Kelvin. We obtain the efficiency simply from E equals Th minus Tc over Th. We can obtain E equals 350 minus 300 divided by 350 gives us E equals to 0.14. So let's consider example three where uh, 1.0 kilogram of water is heated from 10 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius and we are asked to c compute the entropy change of the water and recall that the specific heat of water is 4,190 joules per kilogram Kelvin. We proceed to calculate the entropy. Delta S equals DQ, integral of dq over t, dq equals mc dt, where c is a specific heat. Thus, we have delta s equals integral of t1 to t2 mc dt over t. Proceeding with the calculation, we find the entropy change. Delta S equals integral from 283 Kelvin to 333 Kelvin, 1.0 kilograms times 4190 joules per kilogram Kelvin gives us uh, delta S equals 4190 joule per Kelvin times ln of 333 Kelvin over 283 Kelvin gives us delta S of 680 joules per Kelvin.